Good. Um, we're going to start in a resting Supta Baddha Konasana, but I want to set it up because um, I'm going to do a yin practice for a liver and gallbladder meridian, which is um, mostly uh, stretching in the inner thighs and the hips and the side body. So we're focusing on that today. Um, that is something when misaligned kind of causes a lot of anxiety and stress for people. So we'll focus on that today. So we'll start in Supta Baddha Konasana, but I want you to roll up your blanket or your towel in a tube. And then you're gonna, like you're gonna be on your back, on your mat. Um, knees are wide, I'm move back so you guys can see here, I'm gonna tilt this. Your, the, the blanket wraps around your feet so that when you open your knees out wide, they're supported. Because since we're gonna be laying in it for a little bit of time, then you'll lay on your back and you can have another towel folded up, not too high under the back of your head so that your head stays comfortable while we're laying down. I'm just gonna adjust the camera because I can see that you can't see my mat. So there we go. All right, so just resting back in that for everybody. And then if you want and you had more blankets and you just wanted to roll those up under your knee, that's another option. If you want more height in your knees if you're feeling really stiff in your inner thighs. So we'll just lay back, get comfortable. And you can close the eyes here after you get into it. And we'll take one big deep belly breath and open the mouth, exhale out. Again, like that deep breath into the belly, filling up. Exhale out. And just settling in, relaxing, allowing the body to calm down. You might notice, just be mindful of sensations here, what's touching the mat, the side of the feet, the back body, the back of the head, just relaxing into that. And noticing the breath how the body expands when we inhale and how it softens when we exhale. And so in a moment, we'll shift from mindfulness into a, a breath breathing, a pranayama practice, where we're going to focus on the inhale and the exhale of the breath. So we'll do a four-part breath, and we'll make it an even breath today. So we'll on my count in a minute, not quite yet, I'll count us out for a four-part inhale, a pause at the top, and a four-part exhale. So let's take a normal breath here, normal breath out, and then we'll inhale for four, three, two, one, pause, exhale for four, three, two, one. Regular breath in, regular breath out. And again, like that, inhaling for four, three, two, one, pause. Exhaling for four, three, two, one. Regular breath in, regular breath out. And last time like that, inhaling for four, three, two, one, pause. Exhaling for four, three, two, one. Regular breath in and a regular breath out. And we'll just rest here for one more moment, noticing if anything shifted. setting an intention for our practice today, if you want. And 
Then we'll slowly blink open the eyes. And just bring the knees together at the top and just move your blanket out of the way. We'll start with some more lower body opening while we're on our back. So stretch the legs long. We'll bring the right knee into the chest and just hold it there. And then let's shift it out just closer to the shoulder and the armpit. So getting a little bit of opening in the inner thigh here. And then grab that with the opposite hand and bring the knee slowly just across the body without lifting the hips. And then back out wide. And then extend that leg long. Bring the opposite knee into the chest and hold. And then shift it over towards the right shoulder. I mean, sorry, left shoulder. Into the armpit. Getting that inner thigh warmed up a little. And then bringing it slightly across with the opposite hand. Back out wide. And extend the leg long. And then we'll bring both knees up wider than mat's distance. And we'll just do a little bit of windshield wiping here. So Inhale to the right, knees go over to the left, back to the right, to the left. And let's do that two more times in your own tempo. You can pause if you want, if it's feeling good to stretch there, or you can just keep going side to side. And after you finish that second rotation, we'll bring the knees into the chest, and let's take dynamic happy baby. So happy baby pose, feet out wide, and then into butterfly feet together. And just stretching open and together. Again, on your own time here, you can pause in one if it feels good, or you can keep going dynamically. Let's do two more times like this. And last time through. And then let's do one more um, opening with the hamstring. So stretch the left leg long, bring the right uh, foot up to the sky and clasp the legs behind. So you're doing a hamstring opener here. We'll keep it still to start. And then bending the leg and straightening. So making that dynamic as well. Just bending and straightening in your own time. One more time through here. And then we'll just hold again. And slowly release. Bring the feet together. Just be mindful of how the body feels different on that side right now. And then we'll do the opposite side to even it out. So left leg up into the sky, clasping behind the leg. Holding. And then we'll make it dynamic, bending and straightening. And hold. And then slowly releasing the legs together, taking a moment to check in. And then we'll roll over, come up to seated. If you're feeling this, like especially stiff, um, I would recommend just sitting on a blanket 
to be a little bit higher. We do a little seated opening here. All right, so we'll start just with some shoulder shrugs and rolls. So shrugging the shoulders up to the ears and rolling them back. Up and back. Let's do that a couple more times. Just really exaggerate it so that you're opening that back body. And then we'll stretch the arms behind and clasp the fists, whatever way is comfortable, and just stretch long. Starting to open the chest here. And then bring the wrists around to the right side, but they're still clasped. And then we'll bring the right ear to the right shoulder and stretch in the neck. And then to come out, you're just gonna bring your chin to your chest, bring the fist back to neutral in the back, lift the head, switch the clasp of your wrist, so clasp the other way with the opposite thumb on top. And then we'll bring that over the left side, and then the left ear goes to the left shoulder. And you're bring the chin down to the chest, um, bring the hands behind, and unwind. All right, so now we're gonna just do some side body movement. So bringing the right arm over and stretching the left arm long, and then coming to the left side. And we'll do that dynamically. Just see if you can get a little longer each time. And then the next time we get to the right side, we're just gonna pause with the arm. The right hand's on the mat. I want you to bring it back maybe two or three inches. And we're gonna sort of rainbow open our arms. So bring the left arm beneath the right and then stretch it open, almost like when we do thread the needle, uh, when we start to open the chest that way. Just opening wide. Just moving dynamically here. Allowing the chest to open. One more time on this side. I'm really stretching open. And then coming back, going to the left side, bringing that hand. So originally it was in line with our hip. We're going to bring it back a couple of inches and then bring the uh, right side to meet it and open wide. Stretching open, getting that chest open, starting to warm up the side body. And we'll go one more time here. And really reaching. And then come back to neutral. Right, so we're gonna do a twist from this position. Let's just switch the cross of our legs so that one ankle doesn't hurt. And we'll, we're gonna reach up. And then I want to do an uh, inhale and exhale with two part breaths. So we're going to take a deep inhale, exhale out halfway, and continue the exhale and see if you can twist a little bit further. And then bring the arms down and use that. I'm on my, I didn't cue what side, but use that uh, hand on the outer knee to adjust the twist deeper. One more breath and come back to center. And we'll do it on the opposite side. So take an inhale up, deep inhale, exhale, twist, exhale out the rest, twist a little deeper and then bring that hand down and press into that knee to twist further. and slowly come back to center. All right, let's go to cat cow on our hands and knees. And if you want, if it's more comfortable, you could place your blanket under your knees. We are gonna do some down dog, but 
let's just all place the blanket because then we're going to take it into Samson and that'll be more comfortable. So fold your blanket in a little square rectangle or your towel. Have that under your knees, but your feet are going to have room to be on the mat. So hands are directly under our shoulders. Inhale, arching and looking up. Exhale, round. Again, like that. Inhale, arch and look up. Exhale, round. One more time like this. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Come to neutral. Bring the feet over to the side. So we're, we're moving the side body from here. And then we'll bring them back to center and over to the opposite side. As you're just getting a little bit of movement in the side body here. Going to the left, back to center, to the right, back to center. Now over to the left, and this time I want you to walk your hands as well to the left. And then you're really, really twisting. So you're squeezing in the left side and stretching out the right. It's great for the internal organs. And then back to center, feet go to the right, and then we're walking our hands as well to the right. Just squeezing in one side of our body and elongating the other. Back to center. Let's take one cat cow to release that. Inhale, arch, exhale, round. We'll walk the hands forward just maybe two inches, tuck the toes, and come into down dog. Now, from here, I want you to just bend the knees very deeply and push into the hands and stretch the hips back, and then lengthen the legs as long as you can. The feet don't have to touch the ground. They can be lifted if you're feeling stiff. You can also keep the knees slightly bent if that feels better. Deep inhale here. And then exhale, if you want to pedal, you can. Walking the dog. And then bring both feet still. I want to bring both uh, backs of the feet over to the right side. And then pushing back. It should stretch in that side hip. Then come back to center and shift the feet to the left. Pushing into the hands. Back to center. Let's do that one more time. Over to the right side. Back to center. To the left. And back to center. All right, so now from here, we're gonna lift the right leg up, bend the knee and stretch open into the hips. And then if you want, you can circle that knee or you can just keep it still. And then we'll bring the foot, the knee in to the chest, place the right foot next to the right hand, lower the left knee down, stretch the arms up, Samson. You can hook the thumbs if you want. And the next thing we're gonna do is take this into a little twist. So I want you to bend your arms in cactus and rotate to the right side. Now notice that the left arm, the left cactus arm, wants to come forward. I want you to stretch it back so that you're opening the chest at the same time. And then come back up, stretch the arms up to the sky one more time, and we'll bring the hands down and take this into lizard. So walk that right foot out and just open the knee and you can kind of sway into it. We just wanna open the inner thigh here. Take a breath. And then wiggle the foot back. I want to stretch forward so that we're in a half split. Just stretching into the back of the hamstring. And then come forward. We'll come back to our knees. And we're gonna do that same sequence on the left side. 
So hands are in position for down dog. We're opening up into down dog and we can do that bend again so that we get the right extension into the arms. All the fingers are pressing down and then straighten the legs. And then lift the left leg up to the sky, opening back into the hip. And if you want, you can circle. That's up to you. And then bring the left knee into the chest, placing the left foot by the left hand, lower the back knee, and stretch up to the sky into Samson. Again, you can hook the thumbs if you do try to hook the other way. Now bring your arms to cactus, and we'll rotate slowly to the left side. And again, just check your arms. My right arm wanted to come forward. I'm going to bring it back and open the chest in this twist. Back to center. Place the hands and we'll take lizard on this side. So scooting that left foot over to the side, opening the knee out. And you can kind of rock if you want, or you can stay still. Whatever feels best in your body today. Breathing into it. And then we'll bring that foot back to center and stretch back into half splits. Just folding over, getting a little hamstring stretch here. And we're coming back to our hands and knees and we'll come back forward. I'm going to do a demo in the next series that we do. We're going to move more into yin postures, so these will be longer holds. Um, I think, let's see, we won't need both of our towels. I really like when I'm laying on my back for a while to have the blanket under my body for support. Um, it just feels better when this nest sequence is all on our backs. So why don't you guys set that up, just um, placing your blanket on your mat if you have to. You'll need one. Actually, no, you won't, sorry. <laughs> you won't need one. So definitely place it down. Um, we all need your block. I'm using this soft padded block today. Um, but I'll just show you guys really quick. So we're gonna do thread the needle. So we'll start and thread the needle. We'll hold that for a little while. And then I wanna do um, the thread the needle where we bind for the IT band. So I have my block set up so that my foot can land on it. I'm gonna grab my, um, let my ankle with my hand and bring, guide my hand, foot down to the block. Now, if you don't need it, you can just move the block out of the way. I like to have it there just to make sure. And then from there, I'm gonna stretch my arm up. And then from there, we're gonna come back. We're gonna take it into Gomukhasana legs, which is where we cross the legs deeply and bring them up into the chest and stretch the feet wide. So more hip opening, just a little bit different. And then from there, we'll take it into a half happy baby. And that'll be that side, and then we'll do the other side. So get yourself set up. Make sure your block is on the left side of your mat or a pillow, just something that can help support you. We'll come to our backs, knees are bent, feet are about hips distance, cross the left or the right ankle over the left thigh. And I always like to start with a little low back traction here. I think it feels really good. So let's do that. Press the hands firmly into the thighs just to give yourself a little low back traction. Release, we'll do that again. And release, last time. Release, now we'll bring that knee into the chest. And you grab behind the leg, threading the arms through. You can use your right elbow to press open your right thigh. If you need more, you can grab around the shin. Totally up to you. We're going to hold this for a little bit of time. So just stay with the breath. 
Noticing the sensations in the body. Just focus in on the sensation and allow the mind to be still with that. If the mind starts to get busy with planning or just too much thinking, you can just come back to that steady four-part breath that we did in the beginning where you count in the breath. And that'll allow you to just be present with this pose. So slowly start to release the bind and bring the foot down to the ground, the left foot to the ground. And we'll take our left hand and grab our left ankle. Now bring the left foot down to the block to start. See how that feels. And if you want to move the block out of the way, you want more in this, you can bring the, the foot all the way to the floor. Now you have two options with the arms here. You can use your right hand to press into the, the lower thigh, the right thigh, to lengthen that way. Or you can bring the arm overhead and stretch that way. And if neither of those feel good, you just do what feels best with the arm. Staying with the breath. So to come out of this, we're going to release the hand from the foot and just bring ourselves back up to that starting position. And then we'll cross the legs deeply and bring the knees into the chest. And then you grab either the outer shins or the feet, whatever's most comfortable for you. You want to keep the head relaxing onto the mat. So just a little bit of a different hip opener here.
Just staying present with the sensations in the body, noticing where you're feeling the stretch most. Just breathe into that. And try to stay in stillness again. And that's really where the mindfulness present practice comes into it. Just trying to sit uh, mindfully with the sensations going on and say, staying in stillness, and just focusing on that. After a while, that'll start to translate off the mat. So slowly start to release the hands here. We'll unwind the legs, bring the feet to the ground, extend the left leg long, and bring the right knee into the chest, and bring it over to the armpit like we did when we started class, and then grab, if you can, the outer foot. If that's too much to grab the outer foot, you can just pull the knee up into the armpit. Both ways are completely fine. It's just what's best for you and your flexibility um, and where you are today with it. Some days it feels good to feel to hold the foot, some days it doesn't. And then those of you that might want more in the left side, you can take a half butterfly. It's up to you if you want an additional stretch in the left groin. So if you bent your left leg into half butterfly, straighten it. And then we'll slowly release the clasp on the foot and bring the legs together. So stretching long. And then you can bend the knees if you want to take windshield wiper between. We're just going to take a little bit of dynamic movement to release that side before we do the opposite side. So I like to windshield wiper my knees here. You can do whatever feels best. You could bring the knees in for the chest and hug them in. Just take some dynamic movement. And then we'll slowly set up for the opposite side. The left ankle crosses over the right leg. And we'll set up again with our low back traction, pressing firmly into the hips. We're into the thighs, sorry. And release. Press. Release. One more time, press. And now I did forget to have us move our prop to the right side. So let's do that right now before we take the needle. Just grab your block or your cushion and bring it over to the right side so it can um, grab our foot. And then once you're there, we'll bend the right knee into the chest and clasp either behind the thigh or on top of the shin if you want more. And 
and just totally releasing in this pose. So from here, we'll release and bring the foot to the ground, the right foot to the ground. Grab your right, um, sorry, your left ankle with your right hand and guide it down to the ground for the block. Now both sides are different. So this side may feel fine to have the block or you may wanna go further. We're just not hunting for the same exact sensation on each side. Just want to be mindful, especially in the hips. Our anatomy can be different and we tend to feel one side different than the other. So the arms, again, you can press into the thigh for lengthening there, or you can stretch the arm overhead. And then with these yin postures, I tend to talk, try and talk less and less as we go along, just so you have more silence to go inward. So that's why I tend to try to be a little more quiet. <laughs> And then to come out, we'll just come back to our starting position and then cross the legs deeply, bend the knees into the chest and you can grab in the shins or the outer feet, go on the tops in the legs.
slowly release the feet toward the shins. And we'll bring the feet, both feet to the mat. Stretch, stretching the left or the right leg all the way down. The left knee comes up into the chest. And then we bring it out towards the armpit. And then if you can, you grab the outer foot. If not, you're just gonna stretch it wide, keeping the, the leg bent. So we'll take that option. And then if you want, and you did do butterfly on the left side, I would say that do it again on the right side this time. If you didn't, you're just gonna stretch the leg long. Or if it's bothering your low back, you can keep the knee bent up into the sky here. And then slowly straighten the right leg if the knee is bent. And release the foot, bringing both legs together. And then take whatever dynamic movement goes best to you to release this before we go into our next posture. I'm gonna windshield wiper again, but you can decide what feels best. And so our next pose is going to be banana asana. So still on our backs, we'll stretch the legs long and walk them over to the left side. So walk feet to the left side, uh, pick up your shoulders and bring them to the left side as well, making a banana curve. And then from here with the arms, you can stretch them overhead, maybe clasp elbows or stay by the side if it doesn't feel good in your shoulder. And then for the feet, you can cross one foot on top of the other as long as your hips don't come off the ground. If that causes your hips to come off the ground, you're gonna uncross and just stay with them on the floor. So if you crossed, uncross, and then slowly bring those feet back to center, lift up the shoulders, bring them to center. And then we'll walk the feet to the right side, as far as they'll go. Pick up the shoulders and bring them to the right side as well. And then you'll stretch your arms overhead if that feels good. And you can cross if that feels good. Again, as long as it doesn't cause a one hip to lift up.
Okay, if you cross your feet, uncross, walk them back to center, pick up the shoulders and bring them to center. And then we'll just bring the knees into the chest and roll a little bit on the low back. Just a few little circles in one direction and the other direction. And then roll over to your side and come up to seated. The next pose we're gonna do is deer pose, which is similar to pigeon, but it's a little more restful for a yin practice. Place your pillow or your block at the top of the mat. And so in yin, we set up just like pigeon, however, the back knee is bent. So I'm kind of in a little bit of a Z position with my feet or my legs. Um, if it feels good, you can have the front shin parallel with the top of the mat. If it feels better in your hips to have the foot tucked in and closer, that's great too. Um, so you'll set up that way. I'll let you all get set up. Let's do the left side first. So left knee is bent, right knee is bent back. And then here we're just gonna start upright and slowly fold forward. We'll start halfway and just have that block ready so that it can um, just help rest your head and neck. I'm gonna set the timer with my phone this time. I can use my watch, but I'm gonna use my phone this time. And just rest down into this. And if at this point your body invites you to go deeper, you can. You can completely rest your head down if that feels good. Just breathing into the hips here. Be mindful with the breath. We'll slowly start to come up. We'll come back up to our first position. Just lean back and bring the knees up and we'll windshield wiper to release that side. And then we'll set up for side two. Right knee is bent. And you can see what feels best on this side. It may feel better to have that foot tucked in on this side or parallel, you can test it. And then have your block handy at the front. We'll come down a little bit halfway. Inhaling here. And then see if you can go a little deeper, totally up to you.
and slowly coming up back to center and you just go backwards with the hands and then shoulder. So last pose of the day, just going to do a quick twist before we set up for Shavasana. So let's come onto our back and let's take our blanket, um, fold it up into a rectangle that can go between your legs like this, like so. We'll just get our legs into proper alignment. So the feet are on the ground and the blanket is folded between the legs and then we'll wait for everybody to get set up for that. And then once you're set up with your blanket between your legs, you bring the knees up to the chest, the arms go out wide like a T. Sorry, place the feet back on the floor, shift the hips over to the right, and then bring the knees into the chest and bring the legs over to the left. That way our hips are in proper alignment. If you want, you can turn the head to the right side. And that'll give you a full spinal twist. It's only if it feels good in your neck to do that. And then take an inhale, bring the knees back up to the chest, place the feet, neutralize the hips to start. And then we'll shift the hips over to the left side this time, knees into the chest and over to the right side. And then if you want, you can place um, your left ear to the ground so you get a neck stretch or full spinal stretch here. So just looking off to the left side as we twist to the right. And inhaling the knees back up, take the blanket out from the legs. Let's place it um, underneath the knees, just rolling it up under the knee so your knees are a little bit supported and roll back and we'll just take a quick Shavasana. So stretching along with the legs, knees are supported by the blanket. Slightly tuck the shoulders under, arms are out to the side, just away from the body. So inhale into the belly, open the mouth, exhale, Shavasana.
Start to deepen your breath. Bring some movement to your fingers and your toes. Bring the knees to the chest. Hug them in and then roll to your right side. Coming up to seated. And bring the hands to heart center. And let's take one last inhale together. And exhale. Thank you all so much for practicing with me. Have a beautiful Sunday. Namaste. Be well.